Okay guys, this is going to be a quick rundown on the GoPro Hero 3 uh, Black Edition, Silver Edition and the White Edition. Now I don't have the White Edition so I can't really go through that one but I can give you a bit of a rundown on all three of the cameras. Look, I've had a number of questions in regards to um, some of the functionality with these cameras and typically which one should you actually go for. The Hero 2 or do you want to go with a, a White Edition, Silver Edition or a Black Edition? I sort of put the Hero 2 in the same category as the Hero 3 Silver Edition. So what you need to weigh up if you're going to buy a Hero 2, you sort of need to factor in a couple of things. One, this has also got this has got the Wi-Fi built in, so you don't need a Wi-Fi backpack. And secondly, the waterproof housing that comes with this comes with a flat lens. So if you are planning on recording video underwater, you're saving yourself buying an extra lens for this one and uh, sorry an extra casing um, with a flat lens that is and you've got the um, waterproof ha waterproof housing built in so if you are going to be buying the hero the hero uh, 2 you just need to make sure that you are going to get it cheap enough to justify not buying um, the hero 3 silver edition now the other question i get is which do i go for do i go for the white edition the silver or the black it's really not an easy call because they've all got their strengths um, and weaknesses obviously as you go higher up to the black edition it does get more costly now um the way i look at it is if you're just getting into a gopro and you, you're on a tight budget um, look the white edition is a great camera that's probably the one i would actually go for if you've got a little bit more cash well then the silver is a really good all-round option that's probably the camera that i use the most out of uh, all three of the GoPros, the GoPro Hero 2, Silver and Black Edition. So this is the one I use the most. Um, it seems to work and work well. Um, it's got no firmware issues or anything like that. Price point is quite reasonable for the quality that you are, that you are actually getting out of the camera. So the next question is, if you are going to get, be deciding between the Silver and the Black Edition, which should you go for? And why would you spend the extra money on the Black Edition? Okay, so first thing worth noting is with a Black Edition, you do also get the uh, remote. Sorry, I've got it upside down. The remote. So um, that's what you also get with it. But that's not the reason why I went for the Black Edition. As everyone's aware, you can go to um, higher uh, frame rates with the Black Edition. You can also go to higher resolutions too when recording video. All the way up to 4K, even though 4K I believe is at uh, 15 frames per second. So the main reason I've actually gone for the Black Edition is for two functions that I see myself using. The first one being the super slow motion, as in recording at uh, 720p and um, doing that at, what is it, 120 frames per second, which allows you to do some incredible slow motion footage with it. So that's one of the reasons I actually purchased it. But more importantly, the main reason I purchased it was when I'm actually flying my RC aircraft and I've got this camera on it, uh, what I can do is record my video footage at 1080p at 30 frames per second, but I can be taking photographs every three seconds uh, with this, sorry, every five seconds with this camera. So um, I've got the benefit of taking photos at 12 megapixels with it while videoing at 1080p. So that's a really big advantage. Now, having said that, the Hero 3 Black Edition has got some um, issues. Uh, I think it might be a firmware problem or something like that where it locks up and freezes up. So that's something you need to be aware of. I believe GoPro are looking at it at the moment. I've actually emailed them and I'm waiting for them to hear back from them and find out what when they're going to be releasing an update or when they see themselves rectifying that problem. But that aside, they're the two main reasons I would actually go for the Black Edition. One being the higher frame rate. And the second one being uh, videoing while also taking photographs. So irrespective of whether you're surfing, you're skydiving or whatever it may be, um, traditionally you've got to make a decision with these cameras. Are you going to be videoing or, photo or taking photographs? So they do take very good photographs. The advantage of this is you can be doing both. So um, you may end up with, I don't know, a few hundred shots. But at the end of the day, you can delete all the ones that are rubbish anyway and just keep the good ones. So that, that, that's the main reason I would actually go for the Black Edition. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is briefly step through the actual uh, menus on both of these cameras because they, they are slightly different. 
And as you can see, the black edition um, fires up and boots up a lot quicker than the uh, silver edition, but not a big deal anyway. So we'll step through the menu. We're both in video mode, both at um, 1080p. Um, camera mode, we won't worry about that one. Um, okay, and we'll get into the setup. Okay. And as you can see, we have a different mode here. And this mode is uh, unique to the Black Edition and basically all it is, is the uh, continuous uh, photo shooting mode. So hold the button down and it'll keep, just basically keep taking photographs. Uh, I'll go through that in more detail in another video. Okay, so now we're looking the same. Okay, let's go in here. Won't worry about that. I won't worry about that. Um, okay, as you can see, we have a different menu option with the Black Edition, and this is the menu option that allows you to shoot video while taking photographs. Now, you can't switch this on unless you're on um, 1080p um, at 30 frames per second. It won't do it at, at 60 frames per second, so that's just something you need to be aware of. But uh, this is where you would actually switch that option on. Okay. And both the cameras have this, This all three of the cameras have this mode, which is basically your loop recording mode. Now this is a fantastic mode. It's great if you're, for argument's sake, skating or something along those lines and you wanna do a specific uh, trick or a stunt or something like that. And it might take a few goes to get it. So what you can do is set this up to only record, say, one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes or so and so. And what it'll do is basically loop record and overwrite the first file. So I think it records one minute files. So say you're recording at five minutes, it'll record one minute file and then record another five one minute file and so on until it reaches the fifth minute. Then it'll do the sixth minute. When the sixth minute is actually videoed, then it'll drop off the, the uh, first one and so on. So so you'll only ever have five minutes or 10 minutes of recording, whatever you set this to. So the beauty of that is you don't end up having to go through two hours of footage to pull out two hours of footage just to pull out a um, quick, sorry, both of them have just switched off. So you don't have to sort of go through two hours of video footage just to capture the shot you want. So for argument's sake, we've used this in fly fishing where you wanna show a, a trout taking a fly and you might do 10, 20 casts where you keep missing. So by having the loop recording on, it's fantastic because you can keep trying over and over and over again and as soon as you get the shot you want and you're happy with it, just stop the recording and now you know you've got it. And you don't have to look through, um, for argument's sakes, you know, half an hour of footage or so. Okay, wireless settings. This is another interesting one, which has created some degree of confusion. So what we'll do, we'll select that right. Both of them are switched off. Now if you have a look very carefully, there's two different options. On the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition, if you want to connect to an Android device or an iOS device, you've got um, GoPro app is the option you would select. And on this one, it's phone and tablet. So I don't know why the two menus are, are set different, but they mean the same thing. I'm, I'm not sure what the white edition says, but I'm sure it'd be the same as the, um, um, the silver edition. So hopefully they'll fix that up in a future um, firmware update and make them the same because it is a little bit confusing because some people are looking for the GoPro app option and they've got the silver edition and some of the silver edition people um, or, or vice versa. So there you go. That's just a bit of a rundown on both of the uh, cameras. I hope that sort of makes the decision a little bit easier. Um, there's not much more I can really cover on this, but I will actually go through some of the functionality in a little bit more detail and show you how to set the camera up and get, get a little bit more out of it. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video uh, and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and comments. Uh, please feel free to ask questions and share your thoughts and suggestions. Thank you.